I just got to tell you guys, we have Twitch emotes. So if you want to use these, please go check out my Twitch link in the description. It takes you two seconds to go down there and press the follow button and sub offline if you want to. Look at these adorable emotes. Only three of them can be used right now. These three, woo! The rest of these cannot be used right now because we only have three emote slots. So if you would like to use these adorable emotes, please go press the follow button and sub if you really want to. And we just have the brand new ones come in too. Cocopium, Tepe, and Yaimiko emote that I would love for y'all to be able to use. But unfortunately we can't right now because we only have three emote slots. Very copium. So please go follow my Twitch. Thank you. On to the video. Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fago here to continue my fake grand order of Lost Belt number three, Let's Plays. Last time we fought uh, that fight that I thought I would lose, and I didn't, and that's very pog. So, this time, we're just gonna jump right into it. Also, subscribe if you haven't, because a lot of people watch my channel aren't subscribed. So, you know, it's free. Just hit that sub button. So, let's see here. So, I think this is the team we will go with, and we will have a fun time doing it, just because this battle shouldn't be, uh that hard at all so let go <laughs> let go section 10 dashing through 1000 lead dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. okay <laughs> so what's our next move first thing we should be doing is tracking down the shadow border but uh yeah Oh, and yeah, Spartacus died. <laughs> we cannot leave these people to fend for themselves. Quinn Shi Huang wants them dead. Right. I'm pretty sure Quinn Shi Huang's aware that the whole Operation Wall drop thing failed. It's no stretch to imagine Okta and Zen Yu being sent back to finish the job only. Only that gotta be guarding the border now, seeing as that's the enemy's top priority. Right. I don't see dropping chunks off the Great Wall as something that gets done often in or rapid su succession. I'm sure Quinn Shi Huang doesn't want to damage the land any more than strictly necessary. That said, if we stay in one place too long, I'm sure the Emperor will try it again. So we need to keep moving. Facts. <laughs> True. And you want to take the villagers here with us? That would put them in the crossfire of our battle. That's too dangerous. What would you have us do, Sarah? Uh... I want to hear your bl plan, Jinkei, because I don't know. Because I have no fucking idea. My plan. I agree with Senpai, Jinkei. You're, a great, you're great at coming up with plans. You think? Well, if you need my help that badly, I guess I'd better step up, huh? Our biggest problem now are, is how uh, he can keep tabs on us from the Great Wall. How many of Da Vinci's bounded field devices do we have? I'm going to move this out of the way because it's getting in my way. And I'm going to move this forward. All right. She gave Senpai and me one each. And we also have a single backup unit. And we should split up in three directions. The main group will go after the Shadow Border. And the other two will take the villagers somewhere safe. Is there anywhere safe, seeing how Emperor Douchebag <laughs> is looking straight down at us? Fortunately, that the Emperor can only look straight down may be our saving grace. All that is needed to avoid such a gaze is something overhead, like a cave or a forest thick with foliage. True! We won't know how well the camouflage devices work until we give them a shot. And of course, if Huang loses sight of us, then I expect someone will come searching at ground level. So we can expect that the nearby areas to be crawling with those mechanical soldiers. Then we'll have to kick the shit out of them every time. How are we going to keep a low pri profile if we do that? This land ain't exactly the best for hiding either. Which is why each group will need a skilled fighter, since... There will be no getting around the fact that we all will run into patrols at some point. Mordred, Nesha, I'd like each of you to guard half of the villagers. Mash and Sarah and I will go after the Shadow Border. Damn it, I want Mordred to come with us. 
said. What happens when the villagers are finally safe? Our ultimate destination is Zanyang, so we can hide out near there while we wait to rendezvous. How does that sound? Works for me. Your plan's got more holes than a sleeve. Sieve? What the? What's a sieve? <laughs> but that'll make it easier to adapt on the fly. I too have no significant objections. Then it's settled. We were born in this village. We've been here all our lives. Now we have to leave it behind? I am so sorry we dragged all of you into this. But if you stay here, your lives will be in danger again. But that's not fair! What did we do to deserve this? Uh, well... <laughs> you didn't do jack shit. Quinn Shi Huang just threw a tantrum because you got to know us a bit. None of this is your fault. This is what happens to normal people during war. You just gotta think of it like a tornado or an earthquake or something outside else outside your control. This can't be happening! Well, I don't know. The idea of getting to go somewhere that's not here is kind of... How do I put this? Yeah, it's like a hot feeling at the bottom of your chest. Kind of makes me want to yell and shout and run circles. I know! Waku Waku <laughs> Uh, It's so exciting. This must be what Spartacus meant when he talked about freedom to you. Hell yeah it is. In our world, it's something so precious people risk their lives to protect it. Pog. <laughs> True. <laughs> uh, whoa. What the fuck? <laughs> Where are you? Uh, what's with this stupid talisman? How can they seal away my spirit origin with mere, mere sage arts? It's not fair! Well, aren't you a sorry sight, Kaya? Akuta, you came to rescue me! No, she didn't. Come on then, hurry up and get this stupid thing off me! I didn't think I'd have any trouble breaking free of these obsolete sage arts. But annoyingly, this talisman uses a spell made for sealing away gods. Are you a god? As I am now, I'm afraid there's nothing I can do about it. I should help you. Why exactly? Oh, don't be like that. You and I are the only ones in this lost belt who can really count on each other. Well, that's odd. I could have sworn that the disciples of the foreign god were supposed to be entirely neutral in all this. Didn't the rules say that you weren't allowed to help any one cryptor in any in particular? Don't be silly. Of course I'd make an exception for you, Octa Star. After all, we go way back, don't we? Yes, I suppose we do. Which is why I find it so surprising that you never realized this about me. I have always utterly detested you. Oh, well, maybe not you per se, but another fox woman just like you. Tamamo? Tamamo? You talking about Tamamo? Like the actual Tamamo? Because isn't this. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what made you end up manifesting like that. But you sure took your sweet time getting here. There. <laughs> Don't you know it's rude to go blabbing about a lady's past? <laughs> the point is, you and I are cut from the same misanthropic cloth, right? Don't you think it would only benefit us both if we played nice? If you're going to bring up a mutual benefit, Kaya, I have an even more reason to refuse. How could helping you possibly be worth getting on Quin Shi Huang's bad side? Oh, you really went there, huh? In this world, when it comes to business, you're either a client or a product. I was hoping to keep you as a client, 
But I guess that just wasn't meant to be. Goodbye, Kaya. Knock yourself out trying to find an escape from this. You'll never succeed. He was really serious about him. It wasn't the look of a recluse afraid to put herself out there. She must have found her nerve after running into him again so unexpectedly. Wish I could be happy for her. All I can think about is how stupid this lovey-dovey stuff is. So he ends another agent, I guess. Oh well, this just means I'll have to find another client. And that means there's only one more thing I can sell here now. That's NF NFF services for you. We never stop chasing our dreams. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, these are tire tracks. They definitely came this way. Vo, vo! Oh, yes. I guess I should have expected you to tag along, too. You know, a thought popped into my mind of what she was talking about there. I don't know if that's what she meant, but... Uh... I hope the others are okay. You just focus on taking care of yourself right now, Sarah. How are you feeling? Um, compared to, you know, they did a fuck Gordoff. Still a little feverish. Fucking Gordoff. Unfortunately, we can't afford to go any faster. We need to conserve energy in case we have to fight. That's true. These tracks are old, so I'd say the enemy's way ahead of us. Even if we can't catch up to them, we definitely can't afford to fall any further behind. Uh, okay. The fact they also took Da Vinci, Holmes, and the rest of them must mean that. Yeah, they're trying to figure out how the Zero Sail engine works. If they can't work it out themselves, they'll need to make the ones who built it talk. At least we shouldn't have to worry about them being immediately executed, but that will only last so long. Once they've outlived their usefulness, it's entirely possible Huang won't want them as prisoners. There's no sense getting too worked up about it, but we can't afford to take our time either. I'm sorry, Sarah, but you'll just have to hang in there for now. Don't worry about me. I'm fine, really. Dajimudes! Dajimudeska! Wait! I'm sending hostile figures at 12 o'clock! It's more of Huang's mechanical soldiers! So I see. I did figure we would do to run into some, but I just as soon as they have been wrong. Okay, let's fight. Let's go. Let's win. Alright. Too hard. Considering what we're fighting, this shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> Especially with like three of them, you know? Uh, I love having these girls. I love all three of them. I love all three of them. They're so good. Right. Now we're all impeed out. Just do that. Nice. Pog. Alright, what's the last wave look like? <laughs> okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Hog. I think she'll kill him and, and Semiramis won't have to use her key, but you know, it's fine. Yep, she killed him, for sure. 
Oh wow, <laughs> no, she didn't. I thought she did. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> Super overkill, but <laughs> it's fine. Alright, that was easy. Battle is over. No more enemies in the in the area. There's even more of them than I thought there'd be. No way did they just happen to be out here on patrol. I think I might know why. Take a look at these remains. Huh? That's odd. We didn't destroy these. Exactly. Someone else must have fought them before we got here. The ones we just fought may have been reinforcements who got here too late, but they might have come to investigate the battle's aftermath. It's a safe bet that neither Mordred nor Nezha came this way. So does this mean there's someone else here, butting heads with the Empire besides us? Maybe a rogue servant? Oh yeah, that's right! Red hair and a uh, purple haired dude. It's very possible, especially since we just saw the spirit origin graph flare up. This can't be a coincidence, I forgot about that. Then, if we can manage to find them, we might just gain a new ally. Or a new enemy if we're unlucky. Either way, we'd better inve investigate further. True. Let's try looking around here and see what we can find. Huh. Very, very interesting. I forgot that that was- okay, but kind of? Well, I certainly won't be expanding my clientele anytime soon if I don't get out of this prison. I can't believe this talisman is the genuine article. I never thought humans would be able to keep the sage arts working over for over, uh, working for over two thousand years. But I was clearly wrong. They've even managed to advance them here. I really need to leave. This lost brother and I do, and I do not get along. I mean, what a mere human thinking. What what was a mere human thinking? Going all the way to Mount Penta, Pen Pengle, or whatever, to claim secret sage arts. If you're going to go that far, you may might as well have stayed there and become a sage yourself. Why does this clown get off coming back to the human world and staying on as an emperor? Ugh, just thinking about that stupid emperor and that stupid missing face pisses me off. I can't believe I let myself get trapped like this at all because I couldn't get a read on the emperor's expressions. Why? Hi. Oh, it's you. I didn't think I would see you in a peaceful lost belt like this. But I guess you show up just about anywhere. What is it, foreign priestess? You wanna talk? Oh, for I have no idea what you're saying. I wish you would hurry up and learn our language already. I wonder if Kishitara already understands you. Maybe he's even keeping a record of everything you've been saying and doing that involves us. I don't get this thing. Well, none of that's any of my business. After all, my contract is with the foreign god, not to you, even if you do speak for it. <laughs> but never mind that. <laughs> Do you think you could peel this talisman off for me? This Lost Belt King is a tough negotiator. The other Lost Belt Kings might be monsters that no human can control. But Quid Shi Huang pulls that off while still somehow remaining human. Monsters that rely on brute strength are terrifying just by existing. But the devious humans are terrifying because of what they can actually do. So I promise you, if something isn't done soon, the cryptors are going to lose hold their uh, their hold on this lost belt. That archaic emperor might even end up cutting down the tree of emptiness before it can become your seat bed, you know. 
Archaic, you say? Do tell, Yang Yansky, exactly which part of this part of us is archaic. Hmm. Damn it. And she's gone. <laughs> Enjoying your conversation with the wall, are you? <laughs> we see you must have finally lost it, as they say. <laughs> I'm flattered you'd go out of your way just to peep on me and my little cell here, your Imperial Majesty. <laughs> that you can peep anywhere you want, yet you still can't see what's really important. Oh, <laughs> what a joke. We have passed judgment on Caldea. Now, the time has come to properly assess your conduct as a visitor of our empire. Oh, boy. Has it now? Does this mean you finally realize that Caldea was your mortal enemy all along? Indeed, we have. But that does not absolve you of your own separate crimes. Whatever do you mean? The enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? Caldia is both your enemy and mine, your Imperial Majesty. I'm certainly not the one who's been run ruining your farms. But you are the one who brought those demonic beasts that began eating our people around the time Caldia appeared. No, hell no. She's fucked. Crap, I had forgotten about that. Oh, oh, well, that's strange. I guess they, uh, fell out of my pocket or, uh, something. But really, do you even have any proof that that was my mistake? There's no difference between summoning a demonic beast and summoning heroic spirits, after all. How do you know Caldia isn't just playing dumb? Caldia takes pleasure in disturbing my people's way of life. They would never kill them just for sport. Oh, she's so fucked! But you, on the other hand, take pleasure in nothing so much as messily devouring humans. Thus, we hardly need a, need conduct through a, a thorough conduct a thorough investigation to determine your guilt. I see. So you still have a record of my past self, even in this lost belt. All right, then. What are you going to do about it? Do you even have time to waste now that you know that Caldea is the greatest threat to you and your nation? It is true that we do not. Well, we are quite adept at parallel processing. Our greatest concern is indeed Caldea. We can only afford to dedicate our rare spare moment to dealing with you. Oh, joy, she's so fucked. So we're afraid that your inter interim punishment will have to be somewhat artless. Messy. Oh, no. They're gonna fuck her up, aren't they? That talisman seals your powers, preventing you from finding back, yes. Then we can delegate your punishment to these automata. What? As such, these puppets will torture you until we can see <laughs> until we can see to your punishment ourselves. Oh my god! Oh god! Huh? Hang on! You're joking, right? I mean, you're Quin Shi Huang, the great emperor of this domain. Surely you can't be so completely twisted. We do not do this for our own enjoyment. It is our duty to see justice served. Oh, she's so fucked. Oh. Wait, please, don't- <laughs> We are sorry about this, but we simply lack the information. Determine how spirits, just servants, and alter egos behave in worlds that are not our own. For all we know, destroying your body, accidentally or otherwise, may even set you free. Neither can we afford to let you bury this place in sulfur. <laughs> For so long as you manifest here, you are bound to that physical body. This much we are certain of. We will keep you alive, and ensure you lack the strength to escape. 
you order your body drilled oh, day and night. Ooh. Ah! Never piercing major blood vessels. You should survive. I'm unable to replenish your magical energy. And so have no choice but to behave. Oh God! Please forgive me. Just let me go, and I promise I'll leave right away. I'll never come to this lost world again. So please, please stop this. Out of the question, and if you did leave, you would unleash so more evil in other histories. No, oh god. Besides, there is more to you than meets the eye. You weigh far more than all the servants combined. Even I was shocked to see your soul, or rather, your spirit origin's mass weighs nearly 100,000 tons. What the fuck? Oh god, <laughs> that fucking face, Jesus! We are destined to rule all of the human world. That will never change, regardless of what time or fate itself may have in store. As you are sworn enemy of mankind, we all have the more reason to deny you your freedom. So even you care about peace and the lost belts? You really are hopeless, aren't you? Very well. Your torment in our land will continue until you turn to stone. We can put you into an internal slumber once we devise a proper sealing ritual for you. Until that day comes, you will face justice for your crimes. We suggest you spend this eternity of torture reflecting on the many people you have killed and the pain and suffering you caused them. Well, stone. Who does this jerk think I am, Sun Wukong? Ah, uh, no, please! Well, she's fucked. <laughs> God damn. Big F to Kaya. Kaya, whatever the fuck her name is. Jesus. Big F. She's not gonna die, I guess, but she is gonna get tortured for a long fucking time. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm gonna switch you out for you. But fuck, man. That sucks balls, don't it? F. <laughs> After her. I wonder how she'll get out of that, if at all. Pitiful. Everyone we meet here is so weak, I can hardly stand it. But then, these aren't people, are they? They seem to be mechanical puppets. How awful. At this rate, I don't know when will you ever get to form a contract with the Master. Uh, come find me, bro. I don't know where you are or where I am, but come find me. I think it'd be too much... <laughs> Too much horseplay if I asked whether there'd be there a master before kicking them to death. God. Not at all. In fact, that sounds like an excellent idea. That said, anyone capable of ordering us around should be able to take a good kick from you without even losing their smile. Jesus. Bo, bo. Master. See human figures up ahead. Hey! Hello, people! No, wait. It's one human figure and one you queen figure? Except it looks like the horse has a weapon? It seems they've noticed this too. They're headed this way. Well, hello there. It's good to finally meet another servant. One who appears to be accompanied by a mage with a command spells, no less. I must say, I'm rather jealous. I would see you have a master with whom you have formed an official contract. Does that mean you two don't have a master? No, we do not. If that master of yours happens to be looking for new servants, then it would seem this is a most fortuitous encounter indeed. Um, does that mean you'll form a contract with me, Pog? Oh, yes, we'd be happy to, as long as you'll, you all survive. Um, what do you mean by that? Why, I mean, we're going to kill you now, of course. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> huh? Oh? 
Ah, so it's gonna be like that, huh? Y you're okay with this, Jinkei? Why? Thoste! We still have obligations to our lord from when we were alive, you see. So we make it a point to only swear our loyalty to those who are truly strong. I'll kick your ass. <laughs> the Flying General has the reputation to uphold, after all. We retainers must stay true to ourselves, no matter how many times our souls may transmigrate. Mi migrate, whatever. The Flying General. There's only one person in Lu Bu Fen Shang's clan as eloquent as you. You're Chen Gong, aren't you? Uh, uh. So you figured me out that quickly, did you? Well, I'm just a tactician for the rear guard, so my true name is hardly worth hiding. But if you mean to serve as our general, if we do trust you with our lives, then we must be certain you are too, too strong for us to kill. And so, we will try to do so now. If you die in this battle, then our alliance was never meant to be. Answer me this, are you my master? <laughs> uh... <laughs> well, it's like that, don't bother, DIE! <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Okay. Oh, that was pretty funny. <laughs> That is pretty funny, not too much. That's pretty funny. It should be pretty easy. Okay, maybe not. Oh, that is totally Dear DR Moves voice actor. Uh, Hikaru Morikawa, I think his name is? I could be wrong though, but I'm pretty sure it's Hikaru Morikawa. I'm very sure. Pog. Jesus. Jesus Christ, man. Calm down. But yeah, uh, Kaya? She's fucked. <laughs> she, uh, that sucks for her. For sure. But she has to go through that. <laughs> Pog. But you are a horse. It's like, but sir, you are a horse. You look exactly like a horse. Quite literally, you are a horseman. As far as I can tell. As far as I can tell, you are completely a horseman, but whatever, I guess. Uh, He's about to unleash his Nova Phantasm, which I don't know what it does. Oh no. Uh oh. Okay. Okay, where might be a little screwed here? Well, this will be interesting. Well, this will be very, very interesting indeed. <laughs> Oops. 
counter. Fuck you. Wait. Oh, he ignores the bait. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, fuck, he's thinking- God, this is hard, fuck. I don't think I can do this. Just this team. I don't think this is gonna work out. Uh, oh. I don't know if this is gonna work out or not. <laughs> I don't think this will work. I don't think this is gonna work out. Let's see what happens here. Stop trying to kill Hassan, Jesus. Fuck off. Uh -huh. It's like, could you stop? Please? Dumb. 
Fight stupid. I hate it. Really? This time you're not. Oh my god. He's not gonna pop his fucker. Fuck you. He's not gonna pop his MP. Fuck you! In the asshole. Dude, Fuck you! Why is your MP not doing a lot of damage, Jesus? Stupid, and I hate it. I hate this fight. I'm just sitting here and seething hatred right now that I don't even want to talk. You know? It'd be like that sometimes. Alright. Okay. I don't even know what Sansa's MP does, and I don't give a fuck. Well, I don't even know what it did, so... <laughs> Having to redo fights just to the fuck up, especially when they're this simple. Now, if they're hard boss fights, yeah, like, how, how, why do I have to redo this one, but I didn't have to redo the other one that was apparently harder than this fight, you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? Okay, there goes Jekyll. You gonna get rid of Samson? Yes, you are. <laughs> Bye. Now she finished this off, Jesus. Just in case something fucking happens, which I hope it fucking doesn't. Okay, thank God. Jesus. Fuck off, game. That was stupid. That was dumb. Hate that. Fuck off. God, that pissed me off. Okay. Alright. More riders. What a fucking joy. Oh my god. Horse noise. Alright, that's enough. 
Well, Red Hair, I believe this girl girl is more than strong enough for us to serve. What do you think? That was fun! This master's ma this master's fuck, I can't or I can't read I can't talk, Jesus. This master's majesty and sheer presence without giant even Guan Yu himself. I'd be happy to let her ride on my back. Also, I don't know if y'all have seen the fake Grand Order Carnival thing they did, but the female protagonist is like the protagonist of that one, and uh, she has like a grilled red hair, and I'm like, what the fuck? Why him? Oh, I'm Lu Bu Feng, Feng Xiang. Please, pleased to meet you. What? <laughs> what? What? Yes, it is best you ignore that bit. It really does not matter. At all. Moving on. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to add servants this strong to our lineup. What do you think, Master? Um... Why are you refusing to make eye contact? I'm not. I just figure these kinds of compromises are worth making, given we're in this and we're in this for the long haul. Thank you, my lord. As of today, I, Chen Gong, recognize you, Lady Sarah, as my master and swear an oath of undying loyalty. Oh. Uh oh. Looks like getting to know each other is going to have to wait. Yay. It looks like someone noticed our battle. Makes sense. We weren't exactly keeping it quiet. <laughs> what good fortune. It seemed you needed to wait to give us a test run, so to speak. Yeah, in fact, this might be the best kind of welcome party for a couple of war-loving nuts like you. Yes, let's do this! Stand back now, Lord Chen Gong! Me? Why? You know I have a great strategy I've been dying to test out. Heh, <laughs> dying, because isn't it when he does his stuff he'll die or something? You mean the strategy where you point to the enemy and say to me, Go blow yourself up with them? That would get people killed if they weren't robots, you know. <laughs> clucking tongue. Isn't it supposed to be clicking, not clucking? Sure. <laughs> Whatever, I guess. Okay. I don't know why that fight was so fucking annoying. I don't understand it. Like, why was that harder than the other one? I don't get it. I will never understand that. As long as I live. As long as I shall live, I won't get it. Oh, come on, Sammy. <laughs> I love Osaka Bihime so much. She's so freaking cute. <laughs> All right. Let's go! Let's go! Mario! How did y'all handle that uh, red hair fight? Did it go well better for you? Like, how? how? I, I'm curious. Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> well, Alright, then. He's clap. <laughs> well, that was, uh, easy. Oh, uh, hi, Da Vinci. Ahoy there. Can you hear me okay, Sarah? Huh? Nani? Oh! Da Vinci! Oh, good. Looks like we've got a clear signal. 
I need modifying our portable comps to use void space and give us some truly insane range. Be a good out. My genius at work. Um, yes, that's very impressive, but... We thought you'd all been captured. Indeed. We are currently being confined some distance from you at An Kang. An Kang? An Kang? We would have called sooner, but we had a little too much in way of supervision. Anyway, it really sucks that they took the border with them. And at least me, Holmes, Gordy, and the rest of the staff are all being held in the same place. I'm surprised they didn't take your comms when you were captured. Yeah, I thought that was pretty weird too. I don't think it's because they're trying to get us to talk so they can monitor the conversation though. Indeed. Had their intent been for us to converse, they would not likely have put us in separate cells. Aside from that, the security here seems pretty solid. They relax on comm stuff, but they sure made a point of taking away all our weapons. <sighs> Given how the gods have been treating us, I'd say they must not have noticed the comms. Or, more likely, they didn't suspect these devices could be used for communication at all. Really? I'm surprised they would overlook something that important. Well, I imagine it simply never occurred to them that we might be carrying around communications, uh, devices. But these are prison guards, right? How could they be so careless and keep their jobs? Remember. This laws about science and engineering have developed completely differently from our own. It holds equally true of what, ex what excels at it as well as where it is lacking. Aha! I recognize that tone! You figured something out, haven't you, Holmes? Well, I surely have. Think back to Quin Shi Huang, uh, who gained immortality by exchanging a physical body for a mechanical one. Even if they've added to that body's functionality ever since, don't you find it odd that it has expanded to such absurd proportions? Oh, now that you mention it. Then there's the enormous gap between the technology the Emperor employs and the primitive way the farmers live their lives. They may enjoy the benefits of this Lost Belt's advanced medicine and biochemistry their machinery has not advanced beyond the med medieval era. No doubt that is part and parcel of the Emperor's attempts to maintain per perpetual ignorance throughout the Empire's citizens. citizenry. Blech. This is to say that while this Lost Belt may be highly technologically advanced, the sole benef beneficiary of those advancements is its ruler. By design, these technological advancements will never spread to the masses. Yeah, it is someone go nuclear if you heard that. Remember how we were also told that most of the wheat grown here is used for fuel rather than food? This also means that all the astonishing technology here runs on old-fashioned combustion engines. Yikes, now that you mention it, I guess it would, wouldn't it? This may seem preposterously efficient with regards to fuel from our standpoint. But if Quin Shi Huang and the capital of Zhenyang, to which the Emperor is attached, are the only ones using said fuel, I imagine that they are still able to meet their energy needs regardless of that inefficiency. Even the environmental cost of harvesting such massive amounts of biofuel is unlikely to become a serious problem without anyone else making use of electricity. I see. I suppose you could get away with it, and so long as you'd taken the entire planet, which the Emperor has done. Now then, let's try a little thought experiment, shall we? In a situation where there is no incentive whatsoever to develop technology for mass production and widespread use, what would be most neglected? I have no idea. Oh, I know! Miniaturization and optimization, right? Precisely. The 
technology only sees widespread use once it is sufficiently compact and affordable. Okay, I see where he's going with this. But in this Lost Belt, neither of those concerns are a factor. So if I'm understanding everything right, this is like, say there's a PS5 in this world. And it's technically free, meaning everybody can have it. Because a PS5 costs like $500, but here it would cost nothing? Because reasons? I, Or am I just small brain and I don't fucking understand? <laughs> Quin Shi Huang's ability to monitor everything within the Empire simultaneously is a remarkable feat. I couldn't imagine a way to maintain it at that scale without massively insufficient labor cost. However, if Huang is the only one using such a system, any concerns about cost effectiveness would be moot. The ideal for integrated circuits would never occur to the Emperor, nor would there be any concern about cost when the entire entirety of the nation's resources exist for Quin Shi Huang's sole personal use. Sounds like a feral ruling from high atop their pyramid. <laughs> Ozzy in the background. <laughs> uh. I doubt it would ever occur to this world's inhabitants to carry out around machines for personal use. There certainly is any need for them to carry individual communicators as they converse with their emperor wherever they may be. For that matter, in this world, the very concept of long range communication is the emperor's sole domain. There's no real need for private communication between individuals over a distance here, nor would it e even be permitted. So, no cell phones! Got it. That's why the idea that we might have some way to communicate with each other like that Never even occurred to them Fog <laughs> I said I also thought Quinn Shi Huang would be blind Fuck uh, Would be so blinded by pride By their I In their own superiority to proper human history That our technology wouldn't really get any notice For the most part I believe you were right Da Vinci Certainly, the Emperor took interest in the Shadow Border Zero Cell technology, but it would seem nothing else was worthy of attention. Then we would have to exploit every such arrogant blind spot to win. At any rate, I'm glad we know where you all are now. We should be able to reach An Kong in about a day or two from our current location. Yes, I would encourage you to move with all possible haste. You see. Um. How come the director's been so quiet? Oh, Gordy's asleep. Well, actually, he's grown so. W oh. What? But why? He should still have plenty of time left. Is it the poison? He didn't seem that weak the last time I saw him. The worst thing about Kaya's poison is that it has different effects. You know, that's... She's getting tortured right now. Uh, uh, we need her to be alive, though. Well, they said they keep her alive. Huh. I think it has something to do with the victim's car. Uh, well, the bad stuff they've done. The more... Oh. <laughs> uh oh. In Sarah's case, the effects haven't been any worse than a bad cold. Gordy's already had his digestive system fail. Oh, that's not good. What? Not here? You know, I thought it was weird too. I haven't seen Tubby stuffing his face once since, once since we got here. So he wasn't able to keep anything down at all. He was only getting by thanks to an IV drip I was giving him discreetly while we were on the border. Sorry I didn't say before. He insisted I keep it a secret. It was his way of trying not to make you worry. I don't care. Poor Director Gordoff. I had no idea he was struggling that badly. That sucks, though. Q! Bucko Q! What? Um... 
I think you might prefer being able to, uh, unable to breathe to being uh, unable to eat. So once we get got tossed in here, I couldn't treat him anymore. His condition got real bad real quick. And it doesn't look like the guards have much interest in helping either. Guang's only interest is in Da Vinci's mind. Gordon's health is really if not, not a concern. Indeed. I hardly think the ever cares if the other prisoners survive at all. Great. This is terrible, Senpai. We need to hurry there and rescue them right away. Please do. That said, I do have one spot of good news. It turns out a surprise guest is staying here with us. Who? Damn it, Holmes. Knock it off. This isn't time for you to use your usual coy nonsense. Oh, well, yes. Quite right. Let me come right to the point, then. Oh! Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Seems Konyanskaya is- I tried to say her name, is so fucking hard. Is being held here in the same facility. Really? Hotani? If we can rendezvous here, we'll have a very real opportunity to turn things around and capture Kaya ourselves. Pog! Huge! Huge! Massive, even! This is huge. It's gonna be huge. Massive. Alright. Alright. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So that's what that building is. The prison camp. The poppy girl. Okay. See, I thought that was like a uh, hotel or an apartment building or something. But no, that's a fucking prison. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. And I'll see you guys in whatever Let's Play video I do next is. Okay? Bye. I believe.